Hey guys, how you doing? I'm almost done watching this movie. Uh, Ford and Patsy the Bronx it is a very intense movie. And uh, here we have what I consider uh, a real great speech from Edward Asner. And this is in New York back in 1981. Okay, and there was a lot of anti-cop sentiments even back then. Okay, but cops did a lot of bad things. Some cops did, some cops didn't. And you'll see it here in what Edward Asner says as Paul Newman um, after... A lot of uh, being in a very uh, uncomfortable position of being a witness to two officers in a panic-stricken raid throw an innocent kid off of a roof. Okay. And he had to live with this uh, status as a witness. And cops are a family. Do you portray a family? Well, I know what it's like when you are betrayed by family. Um, but you cannot be silent, even when family does something very wrong it's all about morals and always shooting and trying to hit that moral bullseye which I often talk about um, as our goal and sometimes we miss the moral bullseye All right, um, here we go. Uh, where is it? Okay, here we go. I think so. Deep into that book of yours, you don't even see what's going on. 
I'm not proud of what's happened up here. But I can see, Murphy. I can see the people out there. Not just the hookers, the pimps, and the junkies. Those people are trying to build something up here. And I want them to know who's running this precinct. I want them to know that this precinct isn't a clubhouse or a freak show, but the house of the law. And that the law means something in their lives, and that it's there to serve them. That's the book, my friend. You got a better way? Now you can take the whole neighborhood and bulldoze it in the East River. You and me with it. Bullshit. You want to quit? Go ahead. I'm not built that way. That's nice, guy. That's right. You keep trying, I'm quitting. You don't want this? Save it for the sweet one. Thanks. Thank you. We'll have to go down a grand jury tomorrow. Yeah, I know. The men will know about it by then. They saw a stenographer come in here. And I know I'm not dictating my life story. They know. Yeah. Anyway, hold on to this for a while. There's no sort back on my face. I'm not going anywhere. And that's basically it. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you later. Take care.